Hello and welcome to another video. And I've just finished training, I was driving home to film this, drove past the beach, it was pretty sunny, I thought, you know what, let's get on the beach and film it in the sun. But it transpires that God hates me, because since that moment, literally two minutes ago, it's become incredibly overcast, it's freaking freezing, so I'm now stood in the beach, in a vest, like an absolute weirdo. Sick. But I've started now, so I'm gonna see it through, right? As the old saying goes, winners never quit, quitters never win. Unless you're in some kind of organized quitting competition, in which case, the winner would literally be the best quitter. Anyway, before I start, I thought I'd tell you a few of my favourite things. <coughs> Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens. Dropping the bar on my face, screaming help. Help! 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 Oh no, wait, that's probably not one of my favourite things. And unless you're a masochistic pervert, I imagine it's not one of yours either. So today, I'm going to explain to you how you can avoid ever having to do that. But before we get started, I'm going to ask for just two things in return. Firstly, that you drop the video a like, and secondly, that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Right, let's make it happen. Okay, we're in and I am freaking freezing. This is a terrible, terrible idea, but let's persevere. So I made a video last week where I tested my bench press one rep max. Now off the back of that video, I got loads of messages and emails and comments, people saying they were scared to test the one rep max or they just couldn't bench heavy. They didn't feel safe benching heavy because either they were benching in the morning and there was no one else in the gym to spot them or it didn't have a safety rack. So the purpose of today's video is to explain to you how you can bench press safely with minimal or no risk to yourself. Now let me just start by saying this, mainly so I don't get sued, in an ideal world, and my recommendation from a safety perspective will be that you always bench press with a spotter there or you use a power rack. Now in terms of the power rack, it's very easy to set up. All you've got to do is set the safety bars either side of you slightly below your chest level. Then if you do get stuck, you can slowly lower the bar down to your chest, shuffle down the bench a bit until the bar's at your neck level, then turn your head sideways and roll out from under it. And apart from a bit of damage to your ego, you'll escape uninjured. But if you don't have a power rack or you haven't got a friend or just someone in the gym that can spot you whilst you bench press and you still want to go heavy, I'm going to give you two techniques that will potentially save your life if you ever do get stuck under the bar. Now the first of these techniques is very simple. It basically involves not putting collars on the bar. So when you're bench pressing, if you do get stuck, you can slowly lower the bar down to your chest and then gradually tilt the bar sideways. Now when you get far enough, the plates on one end of the bar will slide off onto the floor. The bar will then tip the other way and that allows you to get out and escape from under the bar. Now two things to bear in mind when it comes to this technique are that firstly, when the plates from one side of the bar slide off, the bar is going to catapult the other way with quite a lot of force. So be prepared for that. And secondly, that benching with no collars on the bar means that unless you're benching perfectly straight and perfectly level, the plates on one side or the other might start to slide out and that's obviously going to throw you out as you get deeper into a set. And it's for that reason in particular that I prefer option number two. And option number two is called the roll of shame. And as the name suggests, it's even more embarrassing than option number one. But if it's a choice between looking like a bit of a dick or plowing a bar into my face, I'll go for the former. But the first thing to bear in mind when you get stuck under a bar or in fact in any life event is move heavy objects away from your face. <laughs> Anyway, so you've got stuck, right? You've slowly lowered the bar down to your chest. At this point, just stop for a second and compose yourself. Now, if you can't hold the weight on your chest for any period of time, that weight is too heavy for you, you shouldn't be benching it in the first place. But once it's on your chest, what you're gonna do is slowly start to shuffle it down towards your stomach. Now, you'll get to a point where A, it's gonna start to dig in, but B, it's gonna feel like you have the ability to sit up. So when you get to this point, what you're gonna do is pull your legs up and then forcefully chuck yourself up. As you do this, the bar will move down to the top of your thighs, at this point, you can stand up like an absolute lad and chuck the bar on the floor. And let's show you this one more time. You're gonna slowly lower the bar down to your chest. You're gonna pause for a second, compose yourself. You're then gonna slowly start to shimmy the bar down towards your stomach using your arms and a bit of a side motion. When you get down towards that point of no return, you're gonna chuck your legs up and then forcefully throw yourself into a seated position whilst pushing the bar down. And when the bar is then resting on your thighs, you're gonna stand up like an absolute lad and dump it on the floor. You can then tear your shirt off and scream freedom like Mel Gibson and brave heart but that's optional. Now, knowing the internet as I do, and more specifically YouTube, there are probably gonna be some guys out there watching this who are either very strong or just complete bellends, saying, well, it's all well and good doing it with that kind of weight, but what if I go for a massive one rip max and I get stuck? Well, here you go. Now, 
before I finish, I want to be very clear on two things. Firstly, I'm not telling you to go and do this. I'm merely giving you an option, something that I've used myself in the past when I'm benching by myself to allow me to still go heavy without needing a spotter or a safety rack. And secondly, if you do choose to use this technique, make sure you practice it over and over again with a lighter weight before you attempt anything heavy. But let's be honest here, if someone does go and try this with a massive weight before having practiced it with a lighter weight and they die, ultimately, that's just natural selection. And on that incredibly uplifting note, I'm going to end the video. So I sincerely hope you enjoyed it guys. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you tomorrow.